What's up guys? Happy 4th of July 2018. Today we're going to talk about this dash cam. So let's go down to the Jeep and let me show you a little bit about this dash cam. But first, do what the shirt says. Hit that subscribe button. Tap that subscribe button. Alright, let's go down to the Jeep and talk about this, uh, this handy little dash cam. Happy 4th of July 2018 everybody. So I will start, start off the video wishing everyone a happy and safe 4th of July. And today I am going to talk about this Vantru dash cam, the Vantru X1. And since today's 4th of July, it's a good day to talk about having a dash cam. A lot of people on the road, a lot of distracted drivers, which there's distracted drivers every day. But uh, we all know what people do on 4th of July. They drink and drive. Don't do it. So for the past few weeks, I've been looking into dash cams. I've been doing a lot of research online. Um, any of my subscribers that have dash cams, I sent them messages asking how they like it, if they recommend it. So I've been looking for one for a couple of weeks and I pulled the trigger on this Vantru X1. And I'm just gonna go over some features of it. I'm not gonna do an unboxing, it's already installed. There's a bunch of unboxing videos. But I'm going to tell you the trigger points why I bought it. I've been watching this thing on Amazon. This was actually one of the first ones I was going to order a few weeks ago. But I held off looking for others. And it was a few weeks ago this thing was on Amazon for $119. Uh, last week it went down to $89. And I put it in my cart. I was about to order it for $89. And I watched a few more videos while I was waiting for my wife to add some stuff to the cart before I checked out on Amazon. And I came across a video. And in that video, the gentleman gives a discount code. So they never work for me, discount codes. But I was like, what the hell? I got nothing to lose. So it was like $89. I put in a discount code, discount code. And sure enough, bam, it takes off 17 more bucks. 17 and change. So I winded up with this camera for 68 or 69 dollars. Originally, two weeks ago, it was 119. So, uh, what does it say on the back? I will link that description. Uh, that uh, I'm sorry. I will link that discount code in the description. So, if anybody uh, is interested in this, so the reason I went with this camera is for a couple reasons. One, I wanted a camera that I could play back footage. God forbid something happens. Sorry about that, a truck just passed by. So I wanted a camera that I could play back footage, God forbid something happens, like on this, you know, on the scene or right then and there. Not something that I had to go back home and put in my computer. That was one reason. Um, second of all, most dash cams, if you don't hardwire them, they go right to the cigarette lighter, like this one. But instead of just taking up my whole cigarette lighter, this flips to the side and it gives you USB access. So you can still charge it at the same time. And that was another reason I liked it. And that's the bad boy. If you're in the driver's seat, I, I'm gonna show you how I hooked it up. I'm gonna move the camera this way. You don't even see the video. You don't even see the camera. It is 100% out of the way. It is not in my view. A lot of people, you see them driving around and their dash cams are right in the middle. So, I'm gonna get into how I wired it and then I will uh, show you quickly how it works. So, I wired it there. This comes with, it's gotta be a 12 foot cord. So, how I wired it was through here, under the glove box, pop this panel off, fed the wires up to here and then let me move this sun riser out of the way the wire comes here this just holds on with clips if you get your hand in there you could pop this down and it comes down with the rear view mirror wire and as you can see there I just put one little zip tie now you could charge this right through the mount that was another reason I like this this detaches from the mount and you could charge it from underneath. So that's how I hooked it up. Let me move this over here. This, I have a 32 gig SD card. This does support a 64 gig. 
if you're using a 64 gig you need to format it to uh, FAT32 format otherwise just use a 32 gig another thing I liked about this if I can find where I put my keys so this is tucked out of the way and this is more of a forget it type thing as soon as you start your car and this gets power I could put the air conditioner on now this goes on automatically and starts recording now that LCD screen will stay on until you in your settings you could pick how long you want it on for you could leave it on all the time I have it set to shut off in 30 uh, 60 seconds right one minute so if you get close you see the red dot flashing she's recording us right now she automatically just starts recording you don't have to touch nothing you don't have to do anything she starts recording another thing I liked about it is it has loop video so loop video means that it's gonna film and then when it gets to the older files if it's not saved as an event it would delete the older files and rewrite over it so um, I you could set them up for one minute video clips three minute five minute or ten minute video clips the default setting is five minutes and I left it at five minutes so every five minutes this was saved and as you can see now it went off it's been a minute and that's it she's out of the way she's off there are buttons on top if I want to stop it from recording like I just did actually now she stopped I will give some footage in a few days after I drive around a little bit but I just want to talk about this a little bit so once you shut the car she does shut off I have it set for one additional minute so while I'm walking away from the car if something happens up to one minute the dash cam will will get it it will, it will record it it does have a built-in microphone it has a, a built-in battery that will last about four hours I have it plugged in so it's always charging it gives you the date the time you could also add more timestamps down there I just have the date and time and I don't know if you're getting it with the Sun but with this memory card I have five hours of memory it does have um, G-Shock which it comes default set to medium so God forbid it's something it was it will, it will automatically detect it and lock the footage so talking about the locked footage there's two files on this camera one is regular files that it will keep overwriting once your memory card is full there is a button on the side that you can lock it so you can lock you can lock your footage if you choose if you see something on the road even if you don't have an accident or something and you want to just you saw something you want to lock it it will not overwrite the locked files so that's pretty cool whatever you lock is saved for good until you manually delete it on the top I don't know if you guys can see there's buttons here there's also a camera button so even while you're recording if you come across an event you can just press in and lock you can take a picture of something and lock it that was a, another feature that I liked that was a, a, another how are you enjoy your fourth yeah yeah more yeah yeah enjoy you got it enjoy your fourth take care buddy sorry about that just one of my nice friendly neighbors you don't come across many of them in New York City so as you can see that was another let me put the menu back on and that's basically it it does have a parking sensor so you can get a hardwired kit if you're gonna use the parking sensor you need to be hardwired because the battery will only lasts about four hours while you're parked and um, I might actually look into the hardwired kit the hardwired kit is uh, I think it's like 15 bucks I'm probably gonna wind up going with it I just want to test the camera out for a few weeks and make sure that I like it and um, the hardwire kit will keep you if anyone anything in front of your vehicle anything that goes in front of your camera that senses motion even if your vehicle is parked it will turn on the camera and it will record for whatever you have it set for like I said earlier I have it set for five minute intervals so I don't really plan on taking this camera down I don't plan on bringing it in the house to keep playing with the footage you can just pop the camera out 
and again you can charge it through your uh, through you through the holder and also underneath it I don't want to uh, I don't want to move it I had this thing set perfect but underneath it also has an HDMI outlet where you could hook it straight up to your television if you want to watch the footage on your television and it does come with the H I'm sorry it does not come with HDMI it comes with a mini USB so you could download footage to your computer so that's really it once again it's the Vantru X1 it's small it's added away like it says from the driver's seat you cannot even see it it is added away tucked away and it's doing its job it's like I set it and forget it hopefully I'll never need to go to the footage but you know what like I said earlier there's so many distracted drivers out there for $69 why not have an eyewitness And that's really it guys if you have any questions about it the install was simple they give you plenty of wire I actually have an extra like two feet of wire tucked up in here there was so much wire so even if you're not putting this in a Jeep Wrangler like what I have no matter what car you put this in you're gonna have enough wire that wire is very long so if you have any questions I will put some footage in the future I mean I'm sure driving around New York City I'm gonna come across a lot of uh, well, I do come across a lot of distracted drivers. I'll put a video up in a few weeks after I get some uh, some footage, show you guys what the footage is, what the footage looks like from the camera. I've seen it; it's actually very clear. It's actually pretty good at night as well. This does have um, night night mode, so you can, it will film at night. Again, there's a bunch of videos on YouTube showing uh, the different features of it. I don't want to get into every feature, and you can see there. She just shut off because I have it off. So that's it. Any comments? comments I'll get I get back to everybody. Enjoy your Fourth of July once again. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Share this video. Check out the Mud Trail Instagram page. Don't be afraid. Click that button. Follow me on Instagram, Mud Trail. So, all right, guys. Enjoy your Fourth. Be safe.